Hi everyone, welcome to our Let's Go series and as you can tell we're already on the road. Today we'll be going into a little community called Eden and we'll be talking to a lady called Karen. We just built a Homes of Hope for her and you'll be hearing her testimony in a little while. Also you'll be hearing testimony from one of our staff members here at YOM Jamaica and just season greetings from some of our staff as well. So stay right there. This is our Let's Go series. Let's go. We're here at the beautiful Eden, as you can see, and we'll be hearing the story from Karen. I'm Karen Salmon. I'm waiting so long for this house, two years. I have 11 kids, but five live with me. I'm happy. I'm thanking so, thank the team so very much. May God go with them. And I'm so happy. Karen is just one out of many who you can help. If you wish to contribute or if you wish to come and build a Homes of Hope, contact us right here and we'll be grateful to have you. As we enter into the new year, we want all of you to enter without any baggages. We want you to enter with freedom, freedom of God. So this is the time to really let go, to forgive, to free yourself of all that's been happening all this year and enter into the new year fresh. Here's a testimony about forgiveness. Here's Sash with her testimony. Hi, my name is Sashana Williams and I am a missionary here at Youth with a Mission, Montego Bay, Jamaica. I am currently a staff member, but my journey here was not the easiest one. My father had died some years ago and I was really struggling. I was harboring unforgiveness in my heart and I was just I just lost confidence in myself. I started making a lot of wrong decisions and made a lot of things that I know regret. So I decided to do the discipleship training school at Youth with a Mission. And one of the lecturers was speaking about the importance of forgiveness. Now I thought that I had forgiven everyone. But as he spoke more and more about the topic, I realized that I was still struggling with unforgiveness in my heart. And so I met with one of the staff members and she spoke to me about the importance of forgiving others and I told her I was struggling how can I forgive someone and it's so painful in my heart how can I truly let go and the more we discussed the matter I realized that I had a big problem with forgiving myself I felt like as a Christian I should know better but she stayed with me and told me something that I will never forget she said you must forgive every day it's a choice and when she said it was a choice something resounded in my heart and I knew I had to make that decision and so I chose to forgive and every day since then I've been choosing to forgive and one day I realized I woke up and that pain in my heart wasn't there anymore that that burden that I was living with that hurt that I was living with I was completely free from it by just choosing to forgive. This is my encouragement to you. Is there someone that you need to forgive? Do you need to forgive yourself? Well, God has already forgiven us. We have no reason to walk in, in unforgiveness. And it's really the chain that holds us back. And so please, today, forgive, forgive yourself, forgive others, because it, God will set you free. And who the Lord has set free is free indeed. This is my story and encouragement to you. Every year we have our dinner here on campus and it's just a time where staff and our supporters and our friends, we come together and we have a, a meal just saying thank you to the Lord for what he has done. So here are some highlights from our last love feast. Enjoy. <laughs> Jesus is for you and he loves you. I'm 
I'm just so thankful to the Lord for this amazing expression of Christmas to be here with the Youth of the Mission staff, with some of our pastors, some of our supporters that walk alongside us on this journey at Youth of the Mission, Montego Bay, Jamaica. Initially growing up for me, Christmas was a time of hard work because I was brought up in an environment of industry where we sell Christmas is busy prime time. So it was never a time to kick back like this and to lift up Jesus and to be with friends. It was hard work and a lot of work night and day, but it's just so refreshing to have this time. So whatever reflection or expression of Christmas you have in your life, I just want to say that Jesus did come and he lived and he served and he walked amongst us and he died. He fulfilled his entire purpose in his lifetime. So this time we're just celebrating life and purpose and destiny. So if you don't know what Christmas is to you, and if you're having a hard time, just remember you are a life for purpose. And may that purpose come to pass in Jesus' name. Be a blessing to where you are and to the ends of the earth. Enough love, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. For Christmas, I do reflect on the birth of Christ and even his death, because without his birth, then, you know, we wouldn't have death. That's what it means to me. And, you know, we definitely want to send our love to you and we do hope that you increase in this time and in this season in wisdom and in knowledge. Love you from Waiwa. We're sorry you're not here, but we hope to see you next time. <laughs>